Hi, I'm Flight Lieutenant M and I am lucky enough to be an FA-18 Alpha and Bravo Hornet pilot with the Royal Australian Air Force. Uh, we're pretty lucky that we've had the opportunity to fly this amazing jet um, and I'd like to share some of that with you. Um, so this aircraft here, it's number 39, it's currently painted um, in our uh, squadron retirement uh, paint scheme. Uh, the green is our squadron colour. Um, up on the tail we've got our squadron mascot, uh, which is also on our crest. It's the Grumpy Monkey, uh, which we picked up from our time spent over um, in uh, Malaysia. Um, and a couple of other points you can see on the jet is we've got um, 33 years of operating the Hornet currently at this squadron, so it's a pretty impressive feat. Other than that, uh, we're pretty proud of the Korean unit citation that we've got uh, just on the side of the aircraft there, uh, which we were awarded um, from the Korean War. Uh, so I'll talk you through some of the cool parts of the jet. Um, at the nose at the very front of the aircraft here uh, is where we keep our radar. So that's the old APG-73, still mech scan and proud of it. Uh, just behind it in here, we have the M61A1 20mm uh, cannon um, and uh, it can hold a fair few rounds and do a fair bit of damage. It's probably my favourite thing about the jet is firing the cannon. Um, where the bullets actually come out is from uh, the top of the aircraft, just above the radar. Um, and when you actually fire it, you get smoke all over the canopy, which is a pretty cool experience. Um, as we move back along the jet, um, you can see uh, this one here is the single seat variant. Uh, we also have two seat variants that were largely used um, in training, uh, but we also carry, carry them at the squadrons now to be able to do passenger flights um, and take people to share the experience in the jet. Uh, other than that, uh, we're a twin engine uh, F404 uh, style there, um, and you'll see we've currently just got a single underwing tank on this aircraft. Um, overall, um, under the wings, we can carry um, weapons off nine different underwing hardpoints, uh, including the two wing, pit, wing, wing tips, um, which is generally a mixed loadout depending on what mission we're doing. Everything from um, 500, 1,000 and 200 pound class weapons for use in air to surface, uh, to long range uh, we employ AMRAM and then shorter range we have ASRAM um, there. So that's our standard sort of uh, uh, loadout that we can have under the aircraft. Um, as far as flight characteristics, um, because of all the different loadouts we can carry, it's quite a um, complicated flight control system to be able to compensate for whatever we're carrying for a given mission. We've got uh, leading edge um, flaps here all across the leading edge uh, and also a leading edge extension, which helps us um, have really good maneuverability across a wide range of speeds, which is important um, everywhere from high speed down to the um, visual manoeuvring arena and into um, your schoolhouse basic fighter manoeuvres. Uh, coming around towards the rear end of the aircraft, uh, you can see how large um, our flaps and ailerons are. So not just for takeoff and landing, um, they'll be out when we're manoeuvring the jet um, through all different schemes of uh, flight regimes. Uh, you can see up the top there, uh, we've got uh, two rudders, so twin rudders there, and we've got hor horizontal stabilators, uh, which are full movement surfaces as well. Um, and then out the back, variable engine nozzles with afterburner, uh, which helps us get the most out of the engines on this jet. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the quick tour. Sorry, it couldn't be longer, but I'm making the most of my last three days fight, flying and fighting this beautiful aircraft. I hope you've enjoyed it.